in the robots exhibition there's seven amazing things which you really got to see one of my favorites is the 10 men standing behind me these big massive rather scary things they're really much everything you expect a robot to be the lathe is the biggest and blingiest thing in the entire exhibition it was a 400 part jigsaw it took us four months to meticulously piece together you will really marvel when you see this amazing machine when you come to the show, you really, really have got to see one of the all-time robot baddies, the T-800 Terminator. It's all your worst robot nightmares brought to life. One of the freakiest robots in this exhibition is Kodomoroid, sitting, staring back at us, looking very human, but then she moves with these weird robotic movements. She was designed and used as a newsreader. Is this the way that robots are going? Come along and have a see, find out yourself. This is the Shadow Biped. It was the first robot outside Japan that could stand and take a step forward, which is no mean feat. When you see this in the show, don't forget that when I found this, it was in a basement in Islington under a pile of stuff and I had to go and pull it out by its ankles to rescue it. So Rosa, the robot you can see here, is what we call an anthropomimetic robot. What that means is that her design mirrors very closely the anatomy of the human body. Amongst all the noise and the hubbub and the energy of the working robots in the exhibition, come and see Robo Thespian here. Robo Thespian is designed as a working robot actor. He's probably the only robot you'll see anywhere speaking Klingon, and he's just one out of a hundred amazing objects in the show.